It's Kay and Trish with Crafting Cousins Create. Here, we slow down the videos and we give you a step-by-step -step tutorial in real time in all things paper crafting. Thank you so much for stopping by today. We appreciate you spending your time with us. We release videos every Tuesday and Thursday and we would love to have you join us. We'd also love it if you would subscribe by hitting that little button down below. And if you hit the bell when it appears, YouTube will let you know every time we upload new content. So let's get started, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's Trish with Crafting Cousins Create. Thanks so much for joining me today. We wanted to let you know that we have not forgotten about the Meant to Be mini album that Kay is making, but she is taking a little bit of a vacation. Her son is visiting us from Alaska. He's actually moving to Texas and she hasn't got to see him in over a year and a half. He's in the Air Force and since he's here, we wanted her to be able to take some time off and spend some time with him. So that was why we showed the prayer journal and then today I'm going to be doing my craft. So a lot of you have asked me about junk journals and I am going to start one. It's going to be um, sometime after Kay finishes her Meant to Be album. Uh, but I thought that today we could have a little bit of fun and maybe do some junk journal embellishments. We're going to use some paper clips and we're going to make the hidden paper clip embellishments. These can be used on the tops of your journals, on the side. You can use them as bookmarks. There's so many different things that you can do with these and the possibilities of making them are endless because you can use your scrap pieces of paper. You can use bits and pieces of embellishments. I've pulled all kinds of stuff here. I have some coffee stained um, cheesecloth that I probably use. I've pulled some lace. I've got some ribbon. I've got flowers. We've got all kinds of things here. So I'm going to be using some of these paper clips that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and take out three. I don't know if we will get around to using three. And you can see I'm being a little bit picky, but it really doesn't matter because they're hidden. You're not going to see them. You can use the silver ones. You can use whatever you have on hand. Um, but I have these, so I thought that we would go ahead and use them. And I am going to use the big ones. Um, but you can also use the small ones and make smaller embellishments. So let's see. I have pulled out some papers and I've kind of matched them up. I went ahead and did that ahead of time. I think I'm going to use some of this coffee stain paper that I have. This is actually watercolor paper that I coffee stained and I think it would go really well with this. And y'all know I love this piece of paper. I have used it in so many different things. I actually think I may cut it off there and use that one. Um, I think I'm going to use this piece that I had left over with this paper. I love that. I'm also going to use this card that I got from Joann Fabrics on um, clearance. They were like 74 cent for the pack. They're invitations, but I'm just going to be using it as paper. I think I'm going to use this piece with this. I think this would go together really well. And then I'm going to maybe use this for a pocket. On here I'm not sure yet we'll see I may use some of this for a pocket we'll see as we go along you guys know that I have a way of changing my mind every five minutes and I always pull way too much so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up my um, score and trimmer that I got this is my um, we are memory keepers I'm gonna keep this piece the same size that it is I think this is a good piece you can make these as big or as little as you want um, but that's the one I'm gonna use for that and I actually think I'm gonna keep this piece the same size as well so this will really be the only one I'm gonna cut right now and I am going to go ahead and cut this right there at that line I think that is a great size there and I love this piece right here now it is going to be sideways but I don't think you're really going to notice it unless you're just really looking and once we fold it yeah I think it's going to be fine All right, I'm going to go ahead and score this while I have it out I did kind of bend it to find my center point because this is five and three eighths inches and y'all I just can't with the math today <laughs> so I'm going to score down where there just like that 
and then we'll be able to fold this in half and that is going to be our piece. Now I can see that it did not get cut straight at some point so I'm just going to put it back down on my piece here and cut that off and just even it out. And I think, oh, nope, we got a little piece over there as well. So let's do the same thing there. We'll just lay it down there and we're going to even it out. There we go. And now I have a perfect little piece. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece of my paper. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is fold my paper in half. Now, you can use your score to do this, or you can just fold it. You don't have to have a score for this. It does make it easier, but you don't have to have one. I would use something um, for a bone folder. I mean, if you don't have a bone folder, you could use a credit card. There's so many things that you can use. And I am all I'm doing is folding my paper in half. These are these pieces here, these blank pieces are going to be my um, bottom pieces. You won't see these, so it really doesn't matter what you put on there because you're not gonna see it anyway. All you're gonna see is your top pieces. Now we have our papers folded. We're just gonna take our paper clips and put one on each one and just kind of center it up. You don't have to measure it. I'm just eyeballing it. That was why I cut these down is because I knew that I was gonna be wasting some of it. Now I'm just going to attach my cover paper on over my paper clip, just like that. And I'm going to use my glue stick to do that. I forgot to fold this one, let's fold this one. Y'all, these are great little things to use up your scraps. They're also really good for your one-sided paper. If, um, you know, I don't know that I would use my two-sided unless it's just a piece that, you know, is small and you actually love it and that's what you're wanting to use. Then, of course, you know, use what you want to use. Okay, so now I'm just going to use my glue stick. I like using my glue stick when I attach paper to paper. It um, dries a lot faster. It doesn't make a mess. Glue sticks are great. I do always get them all over the place, as you see. Let's see. Gonna do it right around those edges because I want this to seal. So I want to make sure that I get my edges really well. Here we go. And then I am going to put it on just like this. This paper is directional. So I want to make sure that I put it on the right way. Just like that. And press it down. You want to get it as close down as you can. It's gonna just sandwich your paper clip right inside of it. Just like that. And we're gonna do our other two, same way. We're just gonna put some glue on it and then attach it. I'll speed this up so y'all don't have to watch me do this in real time. Okay, so now we have all of these on. I am just going to cut around them. I just recently bought these Tim Holtz scissors. Uh, Kay was talking about them. She absolutely loves them. And they were on sale last week at Hobby Lobby. So since they were on sale, I had to get a pair of them. And wow, I see why she loves them. Y'all, these things are pretty amazing. <laughs> okay. So I'm only cutting around and trimming this up and see, that's how it's gonna look. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm gonna round off my corners. You do not have to round off your corners, but I like to do that. I just think that it looks better. All right, so now these are all rounded off and I think they are so pretty already. I love how these look. 
I wanted to show you how these work. So I grabbed my um, planner here that Kay made for me and it works the same way on um, your journals as it does for my planner. All you do is here's your opening here and you're just gonna slide it down over your piece and see it just makes a really pretty piece here. We can put pockets on it. We're gonna embellish it. There's a lot of things you can do and it makes a beautiful bookmark or an embellishment for your journals. And when we put pockets on it, you can put little tags in it. There's so many things that you can do with these. So now let's do a little bit of decorating. Okay, for this one that looks shabby, I think I want to kind of shabby up those edges a little bit. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and open them up and you just kind of run it along those edges there and it kind of makes it look shabby. And I like that. This one already has that look. And I think that doing up these edges like this just kind of adds into that. You can also sew these. Um, I didn't want to pull out my sewing machine, but you can sew around these edges and it makes it look like, you know, that it was sewn together instead of glued together. It's just another look and it's really pretty. Um, I probably will take out my sewing machine when we actually start to do a journal and do some of that. Okay, so now I have that done. Why don't we distress those edges just a little bit? I'm going to use my distress ink and my little spouncer here and we'll just kind of go over these edges. Just give it a little bit of color, make it look a little older. And I think it just looks so much better than just a cut edge whenever you distress these a little bit. I really do like that. I'm gonna go around this top too. There we go. I think I'll go ahead and do these as well. All right. So now, let's see. On this one, I'm actually thinking about making a little pocket. I had, let's see, how about this? I do like that and I think that if I use the flowers and then um, distress some of the edges on it I just want a small pocket I do not want a big one there we go and I'm actually going to go ahead and rag out these edges too just by scraping over them I think when you scrape over them and then you use your um, ink on it that it makes it look so pretty see this is so much easier when you're doing one sheet of paper instead of four okay so there's our little pocket and i am going to go ahead and distress over the edge of it as well we'll do up here okay and i think i'm going to put it right there i'm just going to use a little bit of my art glitter glue and glue it right around those edges there. And then I'm gonna glue that down right about there. I like that. What do you guys think? I think that's so pretty. I really do love that. Okay, now I'm gonna take another piece of my tea stained card here. And I think I'm gonna make a little tag for this. So why don't we cut it right about here and I am going to use my trimmer All right and they gave me a little tag I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of stain around the edges of it as well and this can be a journaling tag it can be whatever you want it to be I'm just going to use my little pokey tool here that I got from the Dollar Tree and just kind of poke a hole right there in the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. I could have got my hole punch, but this worked just fine. I just want a small hole up there. There we go. I have a tiny little piece of ribbon here that I have left before I throw this away. I got this at the thrift store eons ago, so it has went a long way. And I'm just going to thread it through my little hole. And then I'll just kind of tie a knot in the top of it. 
just like that. And I'm just going to trim off my little ends there and there. Now I've got a cute little tag. All right, so I think I'm going to stamp this a little bit just to give it a little bit something extra. And I've got these pretty little bow bunny stamps, uh, stamps that I got from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale last week too. So I got these really cheap and I love these little curly Q things. I think I'll use this little smaller one since my tag isn't very big and you just kind of stick your um, stamp onto your acrylic block there and then I'm just going to ink it up there we go I like that I think that's kind of cool looking all right so that just gives that a little bit of something extra so we can stick our little tag right into our pocket just like that and that gives that a little something extra and now over here, why don't we put some of our pearls across the top? I've got these that I've had left over from other projects. Let's see. I think I'm going to put these right along this edge right here. Just like that. Just for a little something extra. Okay, I'm going to use this stencil. This is one of the ones that come from Crafter Square. I'm going to tear this because I don't like that it gets in my way. I want to use this bird one. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I really like the bird. So I think I'm going to put him right here. And I just want to have a sense of him. So I found my modeling paste that I've had for years. I got this from Hobby Lobby when it was on sale. And you just take a little bit of it and I'm going to use my stencil and just kind of dab it around. And pull it up. And that gives us our little bird. All right. So I'm going to dry him so that we can keep working, but I'm not going to make you watch me do this. I'm going to use my heat gun and go ahead and dry my little birdie. Okay, I'm going to set my little birdie aside and let him dry somewhere on his own. That heat gun has a tendency to bubble up your stuff, and it just makes it a little bit harder to get done. Now, on this one, I actually like this side the way it is, so let's look at this side. For this side, I think I'm going to use one of my stickers. I really like this one, and I think it kind of goes with that. Now, these stickers I just got from the Dollar Tree and this is a simple way of decorating your piece so let's see I'm going to pull this one off and I do like that a lot I think I'll use that one I'm gonna sit right there but I think I'm gonna use a piece of this lace to come out around it I have this little pre-gathered lace that I have here that I think is really pretty so I'll cut a piece off of that and then we can gather it up right here. I'm going to add a little bit of my art glitter glue to it right here. And stick it down. And then I'm going to put this right on top of it. But I think I am going to add some. It is sticky, but I'm still going to add some of my art glitter glue to it. To help it um, hold better because you know it's from the Dollar Tree I don't really trust it to stay <laughs> so let's do that and then we will stick it down just like that and I like that this one is 3d it's got this little butterfly that is coming off of it I think that is so pretty y'all know I love butterflies okay so there's that side of our little clip and then here's this side for this side I think I'm going to use another piece of our same paper that this came off of it's just the other side and it's lighter and I'm going to stamp on one of my little positivity stamps this one says always stay positive and open to possibility okay and see, it kind of looks old because of the way I did it. I did it with my um, 
Distress Ink, and I really like how that looks. So now we'll just cut that out. Okay, I kind of cut it a little bit bigger, and I think I'm going to use a pair of my little decorative edge scissors that I have. I have a couple of them pulled here. Let's see about these here. And I can just cut that off. Hmm, I kind of like it like that. And then we can just distress the top of it. And I am going to use my dauber and my distressing ink. Okay. We'll just go over those edges just like that to kind of make them pop out, especially against that other paper. And I'm gonna put it right there. Oh, I like that so very much. I do, I do. But we can cut a piece of our cheesecloth here. Not too much of it. Let's pull it out some. I love it when you start pulling this and it gets all wispy and messy. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to cut this down a little more. And like that. And then put this inside of it. Oh, I love that. That's really, really pretty. Okay. So, I am going to put a little dot of my hot glue here. And then just kind of stick this down into it. And I'm going to use a little of my art glitter glue on the back of this. And we will stick this right down into the center. I really like that, guys. And I think I'm just going to leave it wispy like that. All right. So I think I like this one. I think this one's done. I love how it is all wispy. And see how it starts tearing off? I like that. Okay. So we'll leave that one like that. And then this side is pretty like this. So we have both of these. And when you slip it on, it's going to be ready to go. Now for this one, I think I'm going to use another little piece of my um, cheesecloth here. I'm going to cut off those. These are the binded edges that um, it comes from the store like that. I'm going to cut that off because I want this to be wispy as well. And I want to kind of bunch this maybe right there. I'm going to put a little bit of my hot glue down. Not a lot, and I'm using hot glue for time's sake. Right? And that has that there, and let add a little more there. Now, you can use any kind of glue you prefer to use. Art glitter glue is actually really good for this, but I'm in a hurry, and it's not drying as fast as I want it to dry. So that's why I'm using my hot glue, because it actually will. There we go. And this, I'm just kind of scrunching this up and moving it around and getting something that I kind of like there. Just like that. And then I think I'm going to put one of my butterflies on it. And these butterflies actually came from Hobby Lobby as part of the Paper Studio. And I'm not mistaken, Paper Studio is on sale this week. So these would be 50% off. I like these because they're 3D. You can pop up the wings um, or they can lay down. However, let's see. I'm going to put one like that. And I actually think I'm going to do another one. And we will do it going this way. Right there. Just like that. And then this side, I'm really digging this side just the way it is. I don't think I'm going to do anything to this one. Sometimes simple is best, and I really like how that looks. So that's all I'm going to do to this one. Now let's come back to this one. This is our little bird, and our modeling paste has dried. So I want to add some blue to my little bird. I'm going to spray out some water here on my little um, plastic thing here. And I've got my blue 
watercolor pencil here. We're going to put a little bit on there just like that. And then we're just going to kind of lightly go over our bird just to give him a tint of color. I did not want to paint him with acrylic paint. I just want to um, give the idea of a bluebird. There we go. I think that's better. All right, now he is dry. I'm going to actually take one of my graphic illustration markers here and give him a little eye right here. And maybe even um, kind of bring his beak out a little bit and his little leg down here. And I went outside and I picked a branch off of one of my little bushes outside. This one is really tiny, but I think I'm going to put it right here and make it look like he is sitting on the branch. So I'm going to, let's see. I think I actually like that piece better. So I'll break that off right there. Like that. Here we go. And I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on my branch. And we will cut off the rest of our branch there. Okay, and now... For a last little piece here, I think I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to take some of my green paint and just kind of do some little leaves maybe. Looks like they're coming out. All you do with your watercolor markers is you just kind of draw in what you want there. These are just pencils. They're like colored pencils and you can kind of draw you some leaves on and then once you get what you think you want you touch it with your water and it turns it into watercolor and this is just going to give me some impression leaves for my branch just like that and i really like that and there's our little hidden paper clip embellishments I'm really happy with how these turned out. They are all really simple, but I love them. I think they would make beautiful additions to your journals. They work great as bookmarkers. You can use them for whatever that you would like to use them for. I love how this one says, always stay positive and open to possibilities. And then on this one, we got our little tag where you could do journaling. You could put a picture, whatever you would like to put on there and then stick it back in your little pocket. And I'll show you one more time how these work. If you have your journal, you just kind of slide it on there. Your paper clip goes on. It holds. And whenever you flip it, there you have your um, backside. These are really great for junk journals, y'all. I love these on junk journals. You can just flip them over there. Got our little bird there. You can slide things under. Y'all see I got stuff in my <laughs> journal here. You can slide pieces under there your tags and stuff and it holds it perfectly i love these we'll come over here and put this one maybe on this one oh, okay already has something on that one okay what if we slip it here we'll put this one here slip it on it just opens up and it slides over so easily that paper clip holds it in place and it can hold a special place in your journal. It can just be embellishments, whatever you would like to use it for. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I truly do appreciate it. Kay, I hope you're having fun with your airman. Tell him that we love him and we are so happy that he is home. And guys, I hope that you will join us next week on Tuesday. We're going to be doing a special hop with some of our friends. And I know you're not going to want to miss that. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you like, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. Bye y'all!